we've got what we call a queue parameter. So within individual tools, we can open up the quality for roughing, but narrow down the quality for finishing so we get the best of every combination. Okay, so utilising that power to do the big cuts, but then also the precision yeah. to do the finer cuts. That's right. Nice complex components. That's right. We've dropped into Tim Toss at 2023, the Dali stand, who are supplied by yourselves in the UK, Richard? Yes, Ward High Tech. There you go, you read my mind, answer that question straight away. Now this machine before, we've seen it before, the MCH 630. 630 twin pallet. Twin pallet, okay. So those who don't know, we'll do a quick overview of that first, but they've enhanced it as well. We'll come to that in a minute. Yeah. So what's going on with this machine? Okay, this machine is a very strong cutting machine. It's box slideways, it's a gearbox, 6,000 RPM and full power from 200 RPM. So it really suits the heavy cutting steels, in canals, super duplex, any combination. You name it really, any we tough can, material. We can do it. Okay, so box slideways, give it that rigidity. Yes. And then you've got the power coming through the spindle. Yeah. And how much power is coming through that spindle? We've got 35 horsepower on the spindle. Okay. And it's BBT 50. Okay, we'll come to BBT 50 in a minute though. So a two speed gearbox to give it that power all the way through. Yes. So yes. you're low cutting at 200 RPM, for example. Yes, and then up to 6,000 RPM for the smaller cutters. Perfect combination. So some nice big chips coming off there when required. Yes, exactly. Okay, now you meant, I cut you off earlier about the BBT 50. Yes. What would you use that? BBT 50 is face and taper contact. So it comes into its own if you've got big diameter boring bars, long extended milling cutters, but you can also use your everyday collet chucks with just standard BT. Okay, now I'm thinking things like, I don't know, engine blocks, things like that, would that be Yeah, engine that? blocks, really a, a big range of components. So not just one component, now you get your pyramids, your tombstones, yep. your cubes. Yep. yep, and one benefit we've got of this machine is that on horizontal machines, you either have a column moving machine or a table moving machine. And this one is a table moving machine. Where we can score with that design is that if we've got an irregular shaped part, provided we can get it through the doors of the pallet change, we can move the Z axis and then rotate a bigger part. So we could do a part that would naturally go on a meter pallet. Okay, so as long as you can go through the door, you can machine yes, it. That's right, total flexibility. Excellent. All right, but also with setting the machine, because you've got the fourth axis, that should actually help, can't yes, it? Yes, because we can offer a standard either one degree or a full fourth axis with a minimum increment of zero, zero, one of a degree. And where that comes in, a lot of people don't think of this, is speed of setting the machine up. If the fixture is maybe a simple job for a one component, you can square it up with by rotating the B-axis, set a workpiece datum, you don't need an expensive fixture. Right, so nice and simple, you don't want to spend hours doing it, especially if it's just yes, one component. And, and if, if the customer has that uh, occasional crash, then you Whoa. can recover. Controversial within, stuff there. <laughs> within seconds. Okay, so they're not just, with this machine though, they might crash in there with the spindle, but also the tooling, there's stuff to stop you crashing the tooling yes. as such. We've got, on the, on the control side, we've got the Fanuc OIMF Plus, and we've got a lot of standard DALI control functions. So we've got adaptive feed rate, so that can speed the cutting up if the spindle load is low. We've got spindle load monitoring, so if it's too high, yeah. or spindle is broken, we can stop that. The engineers wouldn't be running their spindle too high, would they? Well, some, oh, okay. some well, might call in, you never know. Absolutely, say that. but it will, it will control that and make yeah. sure that spindle yes. life is kept yeah. as long as possible. We've also got, on the block look ahead function, we've got what we call a Q parameter. So within individual tools, we can open up the quality for roughing, but narrow down the quality for finishing, so we get the best of every combination. Okay, so utilising that power to do the big cuts, but then also the precision yeah. to do the finer cuts. That's right. Nice complex components. That's right. But we mentioned earlier, we, well not me personally, but it's been enhanced from twin pallet up to how many now? Now a six pallet pool with a scheduler. Okay, tell me more about that then. Okay, so again, this benefits the customers who've got regular parts to do on a monthly or weekly basis, and they can set each pallet up with a different component. And then if the, based on the demand of the customer, he can reschedule what is his priorities. Nice and simple. So you could have six individual components, or you could have a tombstone, a pyramid, yes. 
really uh, okay. whatever total flexibility okay so you said about the scheduler so mr tombstone is ticking away he's doing all right but mr pyramid phones up and says i yeah. need that job tomorrow because my yeah. customer's going bonkers just, just stop stop the machine when it's completed that current pallet rechange the schedule and off you go nice and simple now looking on there though as you'd expect the zero point system it'll take any standard zero point any system sort of fixturing really that a customer wants to employ he's really total flexibility and on the tool magazine we've got 60 tools as maximum as standard 120 tools as maximum things like big tool function so the operator if he's using big diameter tool it will automatically leave the adjacent pockets empty so you're not going to crash your tool carousel Correct. either okay so there you go giving a lot of flexibility but they've enhanced this machine even further so that's the mch let me get that right 630 from dolly and who's it supplied by in the uk ward high tech in sheffield there you go just give in us case a call give them a call indeed thank you very much richard okay thank you colin